happy Monday. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I did get started on my front door, but I didn't realize it would take so long for it to dry in between coats. So I still need to do one more coat. So that will be another video when I show you what I got done on the front door because I'm actually gonna be tweaking my front porch and adding some bees to it. Now, um, I also didn't get my craft room done. So I decided to do some housework instead, yes. <laughs> but I will be working on my craft room a little bit today and tomorrow. And hopefully I can show a little bit of that off. Probably not everything in there, but with how I'm gonna place my furniture and the new wall color. I did go get the paint for that. So hopefully I'm gonna be get that painted tomorrow. And I can have a little bit of video footage for you there. Maybe by Friday, we'll have to wait and see. Now I'm gonna be working on my three tier tray in here. And actually in the middle of this, if the dogs start barking or if the doorbell rings, I'm getting my table today. They just texted me saying it's gonna be about 22 minutes. So let's see how fast I can get some of this done without dogs barking in the background. Now I'm gonna be doing a bee and lemon theme here. And this right here is a little gift that I got from Heather next door when we did the fake bake. On that Sunday, she gave everybody these little beads and there's a couple other items that I'm gonna be using on here that she gave to us. Of course, I'm gonna be using my beehive that I made there and I'm gonna be putting lemons in here. No oranges today, we're strictly gonna do yellow, white, black, and green. So let's get started. I'm gonna be starting on the lower tier first. This is that flower tier tray that I have. Uh, I've shown this before, I got this a few years back from Tuesday morning and I've never seen another one since. Now, since this goes down in here like this, I have to put some greenery in here just so everything will stay level. So that is the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put all the greenery on all the tiers first. So I've got all my greenery on and the first thing I'm going to do is put my little beehive that I made. I love this. I'm so glad we did this because I love doing the bee theme. And I'm also going to tuck in some flowers on each side here. I'm actually going to turn this a little bit. Yes, I'll be turning it back. There we go. Then I'm just going to add these little picks with the lemons on it. They actually had a lot more leaves, bigger leaves, and I just cut them all off because I didn't want all those huge leaves. Right, so I'm just going to tuck that in there. This one in over here. There we go. All right, and then I have some of these little pom pom. This was on a pick, and I just cut a few pieces off. Just want to stick these in here too on each side. Okay, then I'm going to take this little thing that she had already made the bottom part, but we did the little bit of like a uh, whipped cream on it and put some embellishments on it. It's got a little bee on it. So I thought that looked cute sitting right here. Then I'm just going to take some of my chicken wire ribbon that has some pieces. And I just want to stick these in on each side here like that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this around because I'm going to be decorating the back side too. Nothing fancy on the back side because I'm mainly gonna be seeing this from the family room instead of being back in the kitchen. Well, I'm just gonna add some more of these flowers. I'll spread this out just a little bit. And then I just have a little piece of a greenery pick here. I'm just gonna stick in. Oops, things like to fall off. Fix that a little bit there. Oops, all right. Things are falling out of my hands. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick some lemons back here mainly. Put a few in here and there. And 
I'm also going to add a few more daisies too. And that is all I'm going to do for the bottom tier. I'm going to turn this around. Yep, push back in there. Okay, so now we're going to get started on this middle tier. So I'm going to move the camera up a little bit and grab my items. So on this tier, I'm just going to put my little squeeze the day. I got this at uh, Walmart a while back, and I actually painted this part the yellow. I think it was just a a brown color, which I didn't really care for. So let's uh, get this go right there. And this is another little gift that she gave us. Isn't this just so cute? You guys want to stick that over here on the edge. Then I'm going to take one of my little lemon picks. This is one from Michael's, but I took all the leaves off. Stick that over here. Turn this a little bit. There we go. Few more of these I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna put that there. Actually, I think I'll put this in here. I want it right there. Okay. All right, and then I have some more of the chicken wire ribbon. I'm just gonna set it right there. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna put on the front. I'm gonna have to that a little bit. I'm going to turn it around here, and then I'm going to decorate the back again just with some lemons and daisies. Like I said, I'm not really going to be seeing the back side of this too much. So, goes there. I just tuck some daisies in right here. And then a few more right here. Okay, so my greenery fell out. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do on that tier. So now we're going to move to the upper tier. So now on the upper tier, like I said, I already got my beads up here. And this is another little thing that she gave us. Isn't this so cute? This little rolling pin saying, be sweet. I love this. So I'm just going to tuck that in here. Hopefully, it'll stay. I might have to move the greenery around a little bit. I'm going to put a couple of daisies ones up here. Whoops. Like I said, I'm going to have to do a little bit of tweaking. Put some of these little pom-pom pieces a little bit different. I want to do the bright yellow up here since I have the beads with all the bright yellow. There we go. All right, so that is all I'm going to do the front, and I'll probably have to tweak that a little bit more. It's a little, a little harder to do this on an angle. So I'm also going to stick in a couple of the lemons here, and a few more of the daisies. All right, that is all I'm going to do. Let's try it. Now, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and get some close-ups for you. We'll just kind of do a little bit close-ups in the front here. I don't think we need to go to the back. It's mainly lemons. Really love my little beehive that I made. Come up here. It's just the cutest little honey dipper. Look at that. Up here. I love it. This just turned out so, so cute. Looks great in my kitchen, too. Before I close out the video today, I want to show you a few items that I'm going to be decorating with. Now, I still got to do my breakfast nook over here, and I'm definitely going to be putting this on, on the wall on top of my sideboard. I think this will look really cute there. I'm use that in there. And then I'm also probably going to use this somewhere 
on the sideboard or possibly on the table. So if you can see, it's got a little bee design on it. I got this at uh, Home Goods a few years back, and I still have the price on here, $7.99, and that's and it's huge. This is to put utensils in, but I like to do flower arrangements in it instead. So I'm going to be using that, and I'm probably going to be using my little metal bees that I got. Now, these I got off of Amazon, and these are in my store, and it looks like they're still available. I love to decorate with these. And also, I was thinking about putting a little bit of bee theme outside, and I think I'm going to put this inside my wreath. Keep the same wreath, but put this... I believe this came from a factory craft, a factory direct craft, something like that. I really can't remember. And uh, I don't think they have it available anymore. I got it a few years ago. But I also have this one. And this one kind of looks cute in my wreath too. Now this one I got on Amazon and this one is available. It is in my store. And uh, I might just put it on the table outside. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. And then I want to show these pillows because I was watching Kathy at uh, My DIY do her beehive hanging for like your front door and it, it, you have to go check it out. It is so cute. I love it. And she was showing these pillows that she got at Walmart. Five dollars. Yes, they're five dollars. And I had to go, I had to go see if mine had them. I love the stripe on it and of course the bee. These are outdoor pillows. I happened to get two. They had two. Now, you might want to check your store just in case because my store that I went to, all the little outdoor pillows were just on a shelf on the bottom, just all stuffed in there, and these were towards the back. So, definitely go check out your Walmart just to see if they still have them available. They did have some other cute ones. I had a really cute one. I think it was a red truck with some dogs. I think one of the dogs was driving. That was cute too. I think that had either black and white or blue and white striped on the back. Uh, so do check it out, see if you can find some. I'm probably gonna be putting this uh, on my little bench on the front porch. I really wanted to get three so I could put two on the back, but I can only find two. Now, one other thing I wanted to do. Now, I sometimes <laughs> will buy wine just for the way the label looks. And the only reason I did this is because uh, my husband and I, we mainly drank Riesling. And when I went to the store, they were out of the brand that we like the best. And I go, what is this one? It says Hive and Honey. And I just thought that was so cute. And look, you gotta be here. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna keep that. It was okay, the reason. It wasn't as good as the other brand that we drink. But I thought, well, but I like this, this little label. So I got an idea. And these are those uh, ice cube tray that I got from one of my subscribers, Joy, that sent me. And I also thought, I haven't done the ice cubes yet, but I also thought I could use my paper clay in here and make little bees that I can put on this wine bottle. And I just thought that would be really cute you can always take the lid off and just put a few flower stems in there, you know, even real ones too, of course. So that's another project when I do my paper crafting uh, with a, the paper clay. I'm going to be doing this with the bees, and then I got a, a vase that I'm going to do and an old spaghetti sauce jar that I'm going to be doing. So that's something coming up too, and I don't know if I'm going to get that done this week or not. I might be able to get started on it on the weekend because I'm going to try to get that craft room done as fast as I can. <laughs> so that, make sure. Okay, there was one other thing, and I can't find them, and I'm not very happy about it, but everybody might remember those sunflower with the bee prints that I got, and I always had them in my breakfast nook. I went down to the basement, and I cannot find them. And I'm like, where are these things? Uh, it's a mess down there. So I hope I can find them because I really wanted to decorate with those too. And that's another thing, because everybody's asking me where I got them. I got them on Amazon and they're in my store. So I will have my store linked down below so you could go check everything out because there are a few other uh, bee items in there too that you might like. Now, like I said, um, 
that's that's it for today. Yeah, I got a oh, I forgot to say the table came right before I started doing this. And it's in a box. Great. Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> And the box had a little bit of damage to it, so I hope everything is okay in it. The delivery guy took a picture of it. So I'm gonna be heading in there and getting that box open so I can get my table put together. And then I could get the dining room all done. That'd be great. And that'll be another video because I still gotta finish a few things on my hutch. And of course, I will be painting the furniture, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is for right now until I get the craft room done. Of course, that's top priority right now. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.